Hi, Stitching Sisters. This is Sylvia with Running With Needles and Scissors. Um, this is Floss Tube. I think it's number 16. It is Friday afternoon, April 16th. Um, it's right around 10 after 4. So for European time, it's 16.10 because we work on a 24-hour schedule. Anyways, it's been two weeks. I have been busy. Um, lots of has happened in two weeks. Not that I've gotten a lot done, but um, things have uh, kind of come together and, and in our lives. So we closed on our house yesterday. Um, that was such a relief. Oh, that's, been, that's just been hanging over our heads. And um, yeah, my son, so we got the word <laughs> that we closed. And my son like emailed five minutes later. He goes, I'm standing in front of the house because you know he was um, he was also moving in yesterday. So yeah, everything worked seamlessly, uh, even from overseas, and we're super excited. I have booked a flight. Um, I don't know if I said that last time, but anyway, so it is booked now. Uh, May third, I am heading for Texas. Um, so there was a little bit of confusion because people thought I was moving back to Texas. We are not. Eventually, yes. Not now. Um, so my son is the one that's going to be uh, living large in the house, but it's a place for us to land when I come to the DFW Metroplex. And with the new rules, etc., however long they're in place, you have to quarantine for 10 days and um, that wasn't going to be possible. I wasn't going to go to one of my girlfriends and say, hey, <laughs> Let me come quarantine with you for 10 days. Oh, that's entirely too long. Anyway, so um, that's done. So I will uh, fly to uh, DFW on the third, quarantine my 10 days, um, during which time I will work and then have a little bit of vacation time there and then leave to go see my daughter in Washington, D.C. and also go visit my twin Lisa up in Virginia for a little bit and then come back to Washington DC and with any luck fly home that's not as easy as you know it sounds uh, Germany is and I don't know if I mentioned this last time Germany is very strict um, to come to the States I need a test a PCR test that's no older than 72 hours or actually it's within the three days no later than three days or earlier than three days and that is doable for Germany my test cannot be any older than 48 hours upon arrival, but I also needed to get on the plane. So there's really a very small window prior to be able to get it and get the results. I'm a little nervous, but hopefully it'll work out and hopefully I'll get a negative test and I can come back home. Anyway, so that's, that's the newest developments. I'm really excited to go see, um, you know, those friends I can visit in Texas. Definitely will be swinging by the Stitch Niche in Arlington, um, our local needlework store, and hopefully, um, you know, I can just meet up with some people. It'll be really, really nice. Um, so I wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for the kind comments. Thank you uh, for the new subscribers and all the likes. That was that was really nice to, to see. I think I've gotten to most of the comments. Uh, there's a few new ones, but I will swing back by and um, answer those. So thanks a lot. Um, what are we talking about today? is what I've been stitching on for February and March. Um, I had a week off over Easter, which was now in April, and I actually uh, uh, stitched something for a friend, and that is, I did show a picture on Instagram, um, because she's not on Instagram, so um, anyways, <laughs> so I was safe doing that. Um, I'm going to finish, finish it, and probably show it a couple of floss tubes down the road after I have given it uh, to this friend. And speaking of friend, um, I was, I forgot to show, or maybe I did show it, but I don't think so, um, a sweet uh, birthday gift that came December, I think, but maybe I did show it. I don't know. It's, 
it's too painful for me to go back and look again. So if you've seen it, sorry, <laughs> but it's, it's worth showing again. Anyways, so my friend Ava stitched this for me. Um, I love it. Just love it. And the frame is so, so pretty. It's perfect with it. So she got that for my birthday. She sent a couple other things um, that'll probably make an appearance here as I go along. Well, I am actually sitting in my uh, stitching room today. I have a dog parked. I'm barely with one half of um, my body on the couch sideways. And uh, the dog, Millie, the dachshund is, is laying right here next to me. And there's one behind me. Mia is behind me. Uh, we just came back from a walk, so they're nice and quiet. All right, another finish I wanted to show, uh, the uh, FFO is my patience from Hands to Work. And I just love the way this turned out. Okay, so this is a, what are these frames? I forget what the what the brand is. Anyways, I have them in my in my frame stash, so I pulled her out. And I this is actually a piece of Blackbird Designs fabric. They did some checks uh, a long time ago. And so I thought that looked really nice. I had three buttons on here and I took them back off. I just really a plain, maybe I'll put a, a little rusty um, safety pin with some buttons on it. But for now, it's it's like this. And, and the Contented Stitcher, Oh gosh, you know, I'm so sorry. I know you watch me and I'm having a senior moment. Your name has escaped me, but it'll come, I'll yell it out in the middle of, of something else when I'm talking about it, because it'll come back to me. She just pops her things in frames and I thought, well, let me just do that. And it worked really well. Um, I just put a little piece of scrapbooking cardstock on the back just to keep the dust out, but that's it. And I sure do like her. And this is another finish, Rosie Life from Ben Creek. Oops. And um, I just painted the frame white. There's a couple other things I wanted to do to it, but I haven't really gone back and done it. And I'm not sure if I want some trim around this. It might look a little better, but I am content currently the way it looks. So that was that. And these are both uh, Mania. Oh, yeah, this is what happens when you just pop it into the frame. It just pops itself back out. Okay, there we go. Uh, these are both Mania starts from last year, and they're done. Now, I am not going to do Mania this year. I've got a lot of things uh, that I want to get done, and so and I still have Mania stuff that isn't done, and I am just going to skip it. Even though I loved it last year, I'm yeah, not up for it this year. Now, I realized that last time and the time and the, the video I, I did that will never see the light of day in January, I forgot to do the giveaway. Well, I have put my giveaway somewhere very safe. I have looked and looked and I cannot find it. It's here somewhere. And I will circle around back to that and I will draw a name from that video. So that will happen. And I sincerely apologize in order to fill the gap a little bit. I thought of something else. So I thought I would send somebody a little German care package. So I put this together. What has fallen out? My favorite cookies. Okay. So this all is very stitch-friendly, sweet treats, all kind. Well, there's some, some Haribo, but different kinds, and some chocolate individually wrapped, so you don't have to get your fingers dirty. There's some caramels at the bottom. I don't know what else I put in there, but it was, it was a lot of fun getting. Some Alpine honey, very nice German honey. These are my favorite cookies. Um, I need a ton of them. It's terrible. Some marzipan. It wouldn't be a care package without marzipan. These are amazing. They're like, let me look at them. They're like hazelnut filled little balls. Hazelnut cream filled. Oh, they're so good. Um, this is often, often given away as a thank you because it's called Merci. So that means thank you in French. And these are again individually wrapped little sticks of chocolate, 
Germany's known for chocolate, uh, so you're probably you're getting a lot of chocolate. Um, it's also known for its cheeses and meats and herring, all a little harder to send and maybe not so welcome. So, especially the herring, which I do love. Here is some tea. Um, this is caramel or cream caramel, and it is so delicious. It's a decaf tea. So um, it's red bush or rooibos is what it's called in German. I think that's what it's called. And some lovely Waza rosemary and sea salt uh, crackers, and they're awesome with cheese. So not just all sweet. Anyways, put your in your comment that um, just talk about use the word snacks and tell me what you like to snack on. And I'm going to I'm sorry because this is heavier. You're not going to get the basket either. Um, <laughs> this is a little heavier. So I'm going to limit it to Europe and the US. I'm so sorry if I'm not gonna, I can't do um, Australia or some of the other countries. Um, it would be really hideously expensive. So yeah, I'm sorry to do that, but that's what we're going to do. And I will draw it in two weeks and maybe I'll find the, uh, um, yeah, it's somewhere safe with a lot of other things that I've put in safe places. Okay. Oh, you're probably looking behind me. You can see one of the, the crates. Um, so this whole shelf, I'm not going to move my uh, iPad because knowing me, I'm going to drop it. Um, but it's a 16 cubby shelf that we got out of the big trash with those with those crates. I showed one of the crates. So that's what it looks like. And these are built-in shelves behind me. The... A uh, gentleman who owned the house, uh, he's long since passed away. He was a woodworker and built those shelves. And there's back here are shelves. And then off to this side, there's also shelving going around the entry door. Um, I filled it up pretty well. I don't know what I'm going to do when we move. That's that's a problem. All right. I'm gonna put. Well, I'll leave that right there. Now to what I've been stitching on or what I stitched on in February and March. Oh, I'll turn around. Goodness gracious, I'm sorry to turn my back to you. All right. In February, I started, put it in this little bag. Um, oopsie. My betrothed. By Birds of the Feather. Oh, I thought it was so, so cute. Not necessarily my colors, but the whole thing just, just really works. So I'm like, I'm gonna stitch this. And so I was growing, going great guns. And this is as far as I got. Isn't she cute? So cute. And what happened is somewhere, I forget where the mistake was, but I had the tree trunk stitched and it wasn't meeting up. So I had a, like a half stitch, there was something off. And so I did a lot of frogging and you know how it goes when you frog, you're like, there goes all your, the wind out of the sails. So I set it aside. I will get back to it because I'm still very much enthusiastic about it. Here are the flosses. These are behaving somewhat. And I think these are mostly all the called fours. I don't think I really, oh, uh, maybe, um, I'd have to look. Hold on, well, let me look now. I think they're pretty much all the same. Yep, that's what's called for. And I'm stitching it on 40 count, just, I don't know what color this is. Uh, Zweigart straight up un, undyed and I don't think I'll dye it I think I'll just or antique it I'll just leave it like that I, I like it just fine then I think I gave myself a two week two week window and I know a lot of you can finish it in two weeks that's just not me I pulled out in this fantastic bag I got from Michelle Cozier oh so pretty Tula pink fabric. 
Oh, and then I made this, actually I took a piece of jewelry I was no longer wearing and took the um, pendant or whatever that's called and just made it into a zipper pull. And the colors are exactly reflected in here. I thought that was perfect. Anyway, so I pulled back out Louisa Clemore by Hands Across the Sea. Ooh, there she is. She's a red sampler. I am covered from that lot. So I stitched on her a little bit. I'm sort of going up and down to avoid boredom. So that's where I am. And I've come across there. I do have a mistake somewhere. And so the spacing's off somewhere. But in the end, you know what? It'll look just fine. It'll be, it'll be just fine. I love her. She's 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 a beauty. I'm stitching this in a hand dyed fiber, and I thought it was here somewhere. I'm not seeing it. I have a spool, um, so I'm gonna have to track that down. It could be that I just accidentally knocked it off, and it's down on the bottom. So I will continue working on it this year, and uh, this is one of the ones I want to get done this year. It's oh, it's on forty count vintage country mocha which is great, great, great to stitch on. It really is because it's a printed fabric. It's soft enough, so it doesn't stiffen that up too much. Because it's a printed fabric, the holes aren't uh, tightened up like you find with some of the dye. There's no shrinkage. And so this is a true 40 count and uh, it's really a pleasure to stitch on. All right, and then there's um, two projects. No, one project here that I'm going to show. Wait, where's my other one? Oh, here it is. Okay. Then people have been asking me if I was going to join in and do the Jacob um, Fruits of Plenty, I think. Um, what's his name? Modern Folk Embroidery. And I was like, oh, no. No, that thing's too big. It's not my thing. And I'm not a, I'm not a good stitch alonger. I'm a good starter. But... You know, I'll fall out um, <laughs> faster or slower. Who knows? But uh, I tend very rarely to finish. I finished a few, but, um, you know, squirrel. And I was like, no, no, that's too huge. I'm not going to do it. And so I'll show you how far I've gotten. <clears throat> yeah, because I couldn't resist. It's a beauty. It really is. So I have January and February in terms of patterns, but that's not how far I am. This is uh, the Fruit of Plenty by the very talented Jacob. Anyways, I um, got a hold of some Ash Rose, I think it's called, by XJU Design, which I am a big fan of her uh, fabric. And uh, it came and I was like, hmm, what can I do with that? So I'll, I'll show you first just what the fabric looks like without the stitching. So it's, it's a pinky with some with some brown and then every once in a while you find a you know spot of cat pee or something like that um looks like yeah this looks like a cat peed on it but i don't mind it uh, especially not with a densely uh, stitched piece like this so then i looked at the fabric and i said i think i mean yeah so i started with fabric and i'm like what would look good on that <laughs> Oh, I think Fruits of Plenty, that would be perfect. And I think I'll buy the pattern then and uh, uh, start on it. And so I went looking for flosses and I ended up with a silk floss from India uh, that I've, somebody gifted this to me and it's super shiny and really, really nice um, and plenty of it. So I thought, oh, that might look good on there. And then what's the a coordinating color? So this is solid, you know, there's no, even though it's shining like crazy, it's, it's a solid one. So I dug around in my hand-dyed fibers, which I have plenty of, uh, hand-dyed fibers by Vicki Clayton, silks that um, are beautiful and stitched so lovely. And I got a sort of a brown, but you can see all the different colors in it but it's so um, subtle once it's stitched. Possibly when it's more solid, you'll probably see it a little bit more. So then let me show you my fantastic progress, you know. 
um, I have a mistake. So once again, I was like, poof, you know, to the side. <laughs> I just have to. And Carol Saltbox Stitcher was talking about, by the way, Carol, thank you for the shout out. That was so sweet. I was so surprised to hear it. I was like, what? But I really appreciate the shout out. Anyway, so Carol Saltbox Stitcher was talking about if you, she makes a mistake, she has to rip it out that evening. And I'm usually like that. But I think I found it so late that I was like, ugh, it's just going to have to wait till tomorrow. And, you know, what happens is you just leave it and you don't come back to it. But this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is my test area, but this is what it looks like together. And I think it looks so pretty. My mistake, as you can see, I'm traveling backwards here. I got confused between the inside and the outside. So this portion isn't long enough. And this portion wasn't long enough because I'm stitching on the outside, but I did the inside count. So, but there it is. I think it's going to be a beauty if I ever get back to it and continue on, which I will. This is really great stitching. Um, I mean, once you once you get some of it in, you know, you're just following along, and it's it's pretty easy. Well, this would be a little challenging, but. You know, there are portions of it that's really uh, relaxing. So sometime when, you know, I can't pay that big of attention, then I will pull it out. I have also been doing a strand a day. We'll put that in quotes because it's not always a strand a day. Sometimes it's not uh, zero strands a day. Sometimes it's three strands a day. This is uh, something I have up in my office and I work on um, during meetings, uh, during the devotional in the morning, uh, before we pray. Um, but slowly and surely making progress. This is a design by Praiseworthy Stitches and the picture doesn't do it justice at all. This is Yellow House Sampler. And this is a safe piece from a stitcher that passed away. She had started it and I purchased it. And even though the fabric is a lower count fabric, so it's probably, it looks like a 28 count and it's stitched with two threads, which I am not the fondest of doing. I really am enjoying this and the colors are fabulous. And so, you know, one strand, two strands at a time, uh, works works really well for me so we are I know there's light let me fold it um, okay so we're about this far so I've made good progress um, when I took it it was I believe right here that's where the border was and I had to take it back because there was a mistake and restitch or it might have been right here I'm not sure but then I have done that much nope that's the wrong side I have done that much on the border so the mistake was somewhere here um, that much on the border I put the pot in I put that in I put the trees in and that little duda and the fencing now the house had a little bit of the roof just one line done and then uh, I think the yellow was across right down here and and the um, chimneys were there and then I've done the rest so that's just one strand or two strands and not every day, depending on how much time I get. But yeah, so it's coming along. I'm really, really enjoying it. And the colors are glorious. They really are. They're just stunning. Then we also have Dark 13 stitching, which I miss regularly because I'm not paying attention. But I tend to then take a day and pull it out. And I, I think I've, I've, I have managed to do it a couple months that I was on the 13th. Um, where is that? Where is that off to? Here it is. And that's in a bag. A good friend from Houston made me a long time ago. It's kind of smooshed in there. And I am working on Cool Tide Welcome which I won't stitch in its entirety, not with the stuff down there. I won't be stitching this. Uh, I'm going to cut it off at the grass down here and pull the border around. And although she's super cute, the witch, I will substitute her um, with a, 
a different person or change her uh, into a non-witch. And um, this is also a ex -Jew design. Oh my gosh, there's so many threads hanging out on this. Ooh, let me clean it up a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna put this right there. X -Jew design, X -Hit J U design. This is gray sand. And I absolutely love, 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 love the way this is looking. Okay, so let's do professionally like this. And I've made progress on the house and the roof, and I've worked on the the massive viney flower pot. Um, nothing on the border, but that's you know one day stitching, half a day stitching, and evening stitching. So it's coming along, and I love every minute I'm working on this. I have uh, done my own color conversion to hand dyed fibers, just sort of picked similar colors that I had and that's what she's being stitched on. I could pull out, I mean, so it looks like this because most of them are spools and they are in, so you're not seeing much, but that's where we're at. I love it, love it, love it. I have decided, so in here is also Olga's stocking, which when I saw Christy Crosshead quilts hers and somebody else had shown a finished one. I was like, I must stitch her. Ugh, so fun. Floss tube is just horrible <laughs> for the wallet. Um, so I started it. This is on ah, sand, but well, maybe you guys can give me some input. It's really light. This pumpkin hardly shows. And so I don't know if I should switch to maybe like an ale or I think all the other colors will show up really well except for this one. So I don't know if I should start over or yeah, just opinions would be very welcome. Okay, so that wraps up. Oh no, it doesn't. March, right? So I did February. I'm wondering what March was. Oh, March was probably, um, and I showed you that, um, Sarah Barton, I think is her name. Ooh, okay, it's it's Michelle from Cozy Egg. She, it was a pattern given to our guild, and I did um, participate in some fake news and have to give a retraction. <laughs> Michelle told me I had to. Um, so Michelle did two patterns. Let me, I'm gonna disappear off the camera for a sec and get her, hold on. She's over here. Oh, so sorry. All right. Um, let me find the picture of Miss Sarah. She is so pretty. Sarah Banton, Sarah Ann Banton. Sorry, I don't even know what I'm stitching, what the name is. Oh, here she is gorgeous. Anyways, I am stitching the adaptation of, and there is a version that is the full um, reproduction, and she's gorgeous. And I had such problems with the border, and it turned out that there was a problem with the border, but not on my pattern. <laughs> so the adaptation is fine. I just had problems with it. I'll show my stitching again. You saw it last time, but I'll hold it. I have made no progress on this, but uh, she'll be coming out right after I get done with some obligation stitching. There she is. Gorgeousness. And I have done my own hand-dyed fibers again. I have a lot of it, so I'll, I'm using it. Okay, I finished filming and then realized I hadn't mentioned my other finish for March. Oh my gosh, because it's laying behind me and I didn't see it. But I finished Sally Spencer from Birds of the Feather. So here she is. She was such a fun stitch. Yep, this is the front, not the back, like I like to show. And my pattern is in another building, unfortunately. I carried it over to my office and um, I'm done for the week. I'm not going back in my office, so sorry. But you guys have seen Birds of the Feather, Sally Spencer. Um, uh, mine is on tea dyed uh, sand from Zweigart. And I love her.
Pepper. Such a fun sampler. Unfortunately, I think it's no longer available and going for mega bucks on eBay, which is unfortunate. Somebody should try and get a hold of Birds of the Feather and see if they can get their rights to their patterns and republish them because there's a lot of them that are super sought after. Okay, I wanted to talk about the bags, hedgehog bags, um, that whole project, which is for charity. It is not dead. I had just lost my sewing mojo and um, did a little bit of sewing now during my week off and produced a few bags. And so I am thinking I will post them before I fly out and then bring them with me to the States and mail them from there. Part of the reason I didn't do anything at the end of the year was because of that Christmas insanity with the post office. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm not I'm not mailing anything if it gets lost. You know, that's that would just be horrible. Um, so one of the style bags that I sewed were these. There's a couple of these that are going in the sale. Um, this is Allison Glass Fabric uh, Cross Stitch in a really pretty black and uh, blue lilac almost. And this is the contrasting fabric, which is also then on the inside. Oh, wait, there it is on the inside. Well, there's a little bit of that. Um, I am also, not this bag and not this style of bag, going to put uh, two bags in in the red sampler fabric from Blackbird Design. I still have some of that. And so the bags are almost done. I just need to sew the sides, flip them inside out. Um, so they'll definitely be done. This one goes uh, is for somebody else. And uh, it's, yeah. I, I am not a fan of vinyl. Uh, I mean, I like them, but to sew them, I'm, I have a terrible time with the seams, uh, keeping this straight. And so I hesitate to uh, make them for, for sale. Um, you know, if mine are crooked, that's one thing. But if they're crooked for somebody else, that's a whole different ballgame. So these I seem to be able to get out a little bit straighter. So, yeah, I will put an announcement on my Instagram account, which is hurrymom26. And when I, I put those bags up, I think there's going to be 10 or 11, something like that. So not not like uh, a, a ton of them, but they go to a good cause. Uh, this time around, I am going to donate everything but the shipping costs to um, Answer International, which combats human trafficking. Okay, that is that. All right, a little bit of stash. There's a lot of stash. That that box right there, the lid doesn't even go on. It's it's my stash box before I, I you know, I put it in there so I know I should show it and then I can um, file it and store it and all that. So when this first came out, which was last year, uh, I'm stuck on Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Um, I was, I just totally fell in love with it and I picked this up from Fat Quarter Shop this year, planning to, you know, hop on it during, um, the month of February, but I didn't, but it comes with quite a bit. The red fabric, the, I think the other fabric is, oh, it says legacy linen. Okay. This is picture of this plus linen in there. Fun. Should be, should not take too long when, whenever I get around to it. And this might be a good travel project. The uh, two, well, I haven't shown the other one, but you've seen it. Two of the school, school girl clubs came. This was the uh, one, and I'm really on the fence about it. It's from Samplers Not Forgotten, Mary Griffin, 1824. And the colors are really, really pretty. And the fabric is, I think, a fibers on a whim. Yep, it's parchment. I mean, it's it's a pretty scene. The colors are pretty. It's not quite my jam, you know, and I'm not sure I'm going to spend time doing it when there's tons and tons of other things I really want to stitch. Um, I think I'm going to sell it. This one is totally my jam. Love it. Love, 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 love. Little Angels, 
a dapper dude handsome cow oh they really shortchanged the, uh, the girl dang okay but you know nice sheep and i don't know what is that a dog no well maybe a sheep dog or a black sheep of the family who knows well no it's a dog because it's got a tail the sheep don't have a tail oh, we have a ghost girl on there also very um unique fun fun okay um yeah, I've, you've seen this one a couple times. Um, this was birthday stash. I got it from the attic. You, you, this is Ursula's sampler. It's an Italian red sampler. <sighs> Can you even? It's so pretty. I love it. So I went looking to see uh, what I had in reds. And, you know, I dyed this, this fabric I got from the Zweigart factory. Just a beige. I just dyed it a light beige. You can see that I tested it. And I went and counted it. This is how you count fabric. You just stitch, uh, you know, two over two over two. And then you measure an inch and you count how many there are. And this came out to be 58 across and 68 down. <laughs> oh, that was tiny. So I thought, well, let me see if I can even stitch on it. And I can. That's what it looks like. I'm going to eventually, one of these days, this is just a little tryout, stitch it with the very fine silk. The super fine floss from um, Vicky Clayton hand dyed fibers, and this is called Red Work Red, and it's a, it is a little slightly it's slightly variegated, but it's a very vibrant red, and I I sure do like it. There was a time uh, before Vicky stopped dying. Now she's dying again, and I can only recommend her. Um, where we went on a red craze. I mean, red craze. We made her dye all kinds of combinations of red, and uh, I have—I think I have them all, or, you know, 95% of them. Anyway, so I have three of these little doodads, and I think that's enough to stitch the sampler. Then, uh, who was it recently? Kindred Stitcher Lisa showed some Threadwork Primitives, and I had ordered some for my birthday, which I thought were so cute um this one i haven't seen anywhere and it is really darling it's nightingale's garden and i don't know if lisa showed this one but it's done with wool and then stitched is that too cute or what it should be really really quick maybe it's another travel project i, I haven't done anything kidding up but i should um, I got the A and E Long and Lean from the Traveling Stitcher. There was a few others I wanted, but um, I don't think the attic has it anymore. Um, and you can only get this at the attic at this point, I think. Really nice. I, oh, another Threadwork Primitives. And this one I've seen, and it's so, so pretty. And Lisa did show this one, Painted Thread Sampler. Another one that should be... Well, I'll put quick in quotes because nothing's quick for me, but, you know, it should, um, it's doable. <laughs> Anyways, and I've been eyeing this one and I just waited for my birthday to get it. I think it is so fun and cute. And, I, you know, what is it about this one? But it's from Mary Wynn Farm, Grace Stewart, it's a Scottish sampler. Gotta love that kooky house. It's got, you know, some atomic chickens or birds, huge thistle, an interesting looking ship, very slender people. Yeah, it's fun. And um, you know, anything with red, I am all about it. So, and I think there's something ghosty down at the bottom here. I think it says Grace Stewart, but you can hardly see it right down in there. This is a fun one. And last but not least, I got this acorns pattern by uh, the Blue Flower. I think her name, is her name Janine? Yeah, Janine McGowan. And she had done a um, exclusive for Acorns and Thread that somebody was stitching on and I totally fell in love with it. It was a, a drum. 
I just thought, oh, you know, this is, this can be changed. I can just stitch these letters across and, and, you know, re, reformat it and make my, and, and make a drum, but I think it's super cute. Anyway, so there is that. All right. I'm going to look at the, up oh, 38 minutes. I am over. Friends, it's been fun. Um, thanks a lot. Again, I just appreciate all the comments and the likes. That, that really just makes my day. Um, keep pressing the like button and subscribe. Oh, for the giveaway. It would be great if you were a subscriber. That, that um, I think that's only fair. Okay, guys, have a great two weeks. I'll be back. Um, that should be shortly before I leave on uh, to go to the state. All right, stay happy, healthy, and terrific, and safe, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.